general English dictionaries can help us in understanding the definitions and explanations of words, but the help for learning word collocations is still limited. To supplement the limitations of general dictionaries, we can make use of collocation dictionaries. The Collocation Dictionary website introduced here is the online version of the Oxford Collocations Dictionary for Students of English, which is available for free. This dictionary is based on a corpus and includes 150,000 collocations for 9,000 nouns, verbs, and adjectives, as well as over 50,000 example sentences. One common mistake in English expression is incorrect word collocation. For example, when we want to express the idea of 改善问题, in English, many people may instinctively write improve problem, but is this a correct English word collocation? To determine if this is a correct English word collocation, we can use this online collocation dictionary. The process is as follows. 1. Go to the website. 2. In the search bar, enter the noun problem. 3. Click the search button on the right to see the results on the computer screen. The search results are presented in the following way. 1. They are classified according to parts of speech. 2. They are divided into different groups according to the similarity of meanings. 3. Taking the Chinese term 改善问题, as an example, it is a combination of verb plus noun. 4. We look for verb plus problem and examine the collocated word groups with similar meanings. 5. The search results show that there is no collocation of improved problem, which means this form of collocation does not exist. To address this problem, the following steps can be taken. 1. From the search results, find which verbs collocate with problem and have meanings closest to the Chinese term. 改善问题. 2. For example, verbs such as address, approach, attack, combat, come, get to grips with, grapple with, handle, tackle, are related to, dealing with problem. 3. While clear up, cure, deal with, overcome, resolve, solve, are related to, solving problem. 4. Alleviate, ease, reduce, are related to, relieving problem. Depending on the situation, you can decide which one to use. 5. However, improve cannot be used. The website provides the following example sentences. 1. The next meeting will address the problem of truancy. 2. He had to undergo surgery to cure the problem with his knee. Therefore, to express the Chinese term 改善问题, in English, we cannot use improve the problem of truancy or improve the problem with his knee. Instead, we should use the collocations address the problem of truancy or cure the problem with his knee. Exercises 1. Is make problem the correct collocation for the Chinese term? 制造问题, in English? Please search for the correct collocations and example sentences. 2. Can the Chinese term 改善坏习惯, be written as improve bad habit? Please search for the correct collocations and example sentences. Question 1. Demonstration 1. Go to the website. 2. In the search bar, enter the noun problem. 3. Observe the verb plus problem and find that make problem is not a found collocation, confirming that it is not a correct way of expressing it. 4. Look for collocations with similar meanings to 制造问题, such as be, pose, present somebody with, which are related to, appear, cause problem. 5. And find bring, cause, create, which are related to, cause, generate problem. We can then use these verbs to express similar meanings to create a problem. Question 1. Example sentences. 1. Inadequate resources pose a problem for all members of staff. 2. 
staff shortages cause problems for the organization. 3. Success brings its own problems. Question 2. Demonstration. 1. Go to the website. 2. In the search bar, enter the noun habit. 3. View the ADJ category and find that annoying, antisocial, bad, dirty, and other adjectives are related to bad, undesirable habit, and there is also bad, which shows that bad habit is a correct collocation. 4. Next, look at the verb plus habit collocations, but there is no verb improve, which shows that improve habit is not a correct collocation. 5. Look for collocations with similar meanings to 改善坏习惯 and find break yourself of, get out of and others that are related to break, get rid of habit. We can choose the verb that suits our needs. Question 2. Example sentences. 1. You must break yourself of the habit. 2. I had got out of the habit of going to the pub. Explanation. In the two examples above, by adding bad before habit, the phrases become break yourself of the bad habit and get out of the bad habit, which may convey the meaning of the Chinese term. 改善坏习惯. 